What are the best fountain pens to use in the office? In this video, I'll give you my top five office fountain pens, plus one bonus alternative coming up. Blake here with Blake's Broadcast. On this channel, I review fountain pens, paper, and ink. If you're new here, consider subscribing and check out the links in the show notes and description below. Before we get into my top five fountain pens for the office, I wanted to give you guys a quick background on me and then give you a quick rundown of what I think makes a good office fountain pen. So first, I've been writing with fountain pens for almost 20 years now, and I've used fountain pens in every office that I've worked in. I've been a CPA at a big four accounting firm, and more recently, I've worked on product teams at mobile gaming companies. Those would be like the games you play on your phone or tablet. So that represents some of the, the most conservative and the least conservative offices. What makes a good office fountain pen? For me, it's a pen that's easy to deal with and that doesn't cause a fuss in the office. That generally means no screw caps. I want to be able to easily get the cap off, sometimes with one hand. I also prefer a pen with a cap that posts securely on the back of the pen body. Again, running around between meetings, you might not always have that free hand. The other thing about not having a screw cap is if a coworker picks up your pen, most people are not used to unscrewing a pen. Most people will pull straight off because that's what most cheap office pens do if they don't click. So it's just another thing you don't have to worry about someone pulling on a threaded cap. The other thing that I recommend is fine or extra fine nibs. Now I can bring my paper and notepads that work great with fountain pens, but I'm not going to be able to use those 100% of the time. There will be times when I need to sign something or I need to fill out a form and I won't have have control over the quality of that paper. Now you can use a rollerball or a ballpoint pen if you're worried about that and you want to bring a big wide nibbed pen, that's fine. But in general, I like to stick with extra fine and fine. It just, again, least amount of fuss issue. Now, in terms of not making a fuss, I recommend pens that are not flashy. And I mean, this is a personal thing, but if you bring a gigantic pen like this to the office. People are going to notice this when they're, most people are going to be using a pen like this. Now let's get on to the top five. Number five is the Lamy 2000. This pen is a great office pen because it has a super matte finish. It's not flashy. The cap is a friction fit cap and it posts securely onto the pen body. It also has a semi-hooded nib, which means it doesn't exactly scream fountain pen. And it's a very reliable, nice writing pen. If you use one of these for the office, I do recommend the extra fine width as the nibs on these pens are quite wide. Now, number four, I have the Wing Sung 601 fountain pen. And I would also put the Parker 51 up there if you have one of those because this is really just a clone of that pen. Uh, the difference being is this is $20 whereas a nice Parker 51 is over $100. Again, this has a slip cap posts securely on the back of the pen body and it has a fully hooded nib. Out of all the pens on this list, this is the one that probably looks the least like a fountain pen. So this is a really good office fountain pen. It comes, I think, only in like a fine or extra fine type uh, width. So that's the Wingsung 601, my number four. Now number three is this pen. This is a Lamy CP1. And this is actually the same designer that did the Lamy 2000, Gerd A. Mueller. And so you get the same kind of matte body. This cap clicks on and snaps onto the back for posting. This is a really nice thin pen. Again, it doesn't stand out or look flashy in any way. This is also a cartridge converter pen and it takes a proprietary Lamy 
cartridge, but it's um, quite a large cartridge. And I like cartridges for the office because you can just cycle through them without having to clean or dip the nib in an ink well. It's just a nice, cleaner way to get a lot of writing done. So that's my number three, the Lamy CP1. So number two is the Pilot Metropolitan. This is a pen that's under $20, and it's a really nice writer. Again, cap posts securely, unthreaded cap. These pens now come in a fine nib, whereas before they were pretty much only medium. So this is a really nice, reliable fountain pen. If you lose it or it gets damaged, it's not the end of the world. Um, and again, this takes cartridge or converter. Uh, it's a proprietary pilot one, but it's a relatively large cartridge. So you get a lot of writing done with this pen before you need to change cartridges. So that's the Pilot Metropolitan, my number two. And now number one, the Pilot Vanishing Point, specifically the all matte black one. Now the other finishes are quite a bit more shiny or a lot of them are more shiny. Um, I like this matte black one the best. It's actually kind of, this is sort of an ugly pen, if I'm honest. Uh, the matte black is the best looking version because the details aren't quite as pronounced. But this is one of my favorite fountain pens, not just for the office, but it is so good for the office because you click to extend the nib and click to retract the nib. This is so easy for jotting down quick notes. This is by far my favorite office fountain pen. It takes, again, proprietary cartridge converter from Pilot. Uh, the Pilot cartridges are quite nice, and then you can use a converter if you really want a specific type of ink. So that's it, my number one, the Pilot Vanishing Point. So those are my top five fountain pens for the office. I do have one bonus pen. It's the Lamy Swift. This is a capless rollerball, which is great for when you just don't want to use a fountain pen or you have to sign a document and you know the, the paper isn't going to take the ink. The other great thing about this is the Pilot G2 refill can be easily adapted to fit this pen. So you have a lot of great options as an alternative uh, to writing with a fountain pen. I really like the metal body. It just, it's very subtle and it's a, it's a big upgrade from a standard office pen. One other thing that I want to show you is this Nakaya desk stand. This stand fits a lot of different fountain pens. Like for instance, this is a Pilot uh, 845 Custom. And so this will just sit in there and will seal the pen so that it doesn't dry out. So if you have a pen with a threaded cap that you like to use, it might fit one of these Nakaya desk stands. I know I've been able to use it with a Mont Blanc uh, 146 Legrand fountain pen, the Aurora Optima, this Pilot 845 Custom, the Lamy 2000. It fits a lot of other pens. So if you really want to use a nice high-end pen and you want the convenience of not having to unscrew a cap every time you want to write a quick note, this Nakaya desk pen stand is a really good option. In this black uh, Arushi lacquer finish, it's about $100. Some of the other fancier lacquer finishes are more. This is the, the cheapest one that they make, and it really makes a lot of nice fountain pens easy to use for the office. Okay, so that's it. Do you guys use a fountain pen in the office? What are your favorite fountain pens for the office? Let me know in the comments below. And if you liked this video, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more fountain pen, paper, and ink videos, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much, and until next time.